right. I got a couple of broken phones here. Screen broke here. Total my total blank. Here the battery charge didn't charge anymore. Um, they're both Galaxy A12 phones. And I bought these, I bought the phone, as you see, 170 bucks new. Ended up paying 10 bucks a month for the warranty or insurance. After about a year, my phone looked like this. And I sent it out, you know, they gave me a new phone right away, but I was kind of shocked that it was $50 deductible. <clears throat> and uh, and after paying 120 bucks plus this, I really didn't benefit from it. Um, so before you get the insurance or warranty on your phone, make, make sure you find out what your deductible is because it doesn't pay if you're gonna pay $50 deductible on a phone that's 170 or 200 or even 250, it doesn't pay. And when you do get a new phone, you're not getting a brand new phone, you're getting a refurbished phone, trust me on that. No matter what anybody says, you're gonna get a refurbished phone, it's gonna come in a box, it's gonna look like it's brand spanking new, it's, it's totally refurbished. So, like I said, I'm not saying not to get insurance, I mean, you're getting eight hundred dollar, twelve hundred dollar, you know, iPhones. Definitely, definitely get the insurance if it's only fifty dollars deductible. Definitely well worth it. But on these, on these lower end phones, not even worth it because I ended up buying a couple of these phones on eBay between sixty and eighty dollars, and it looks like a brand spanking new. Screen is perfect, no cracks, nothing works just fine. So. So before you, uh, before you get the insurance, make sure you find out what your deductible is because you may, it may not be worth it. Thanks for watching.